So as I was building my Arduino Ready PSK transceiver, I made extensive use of my ICOM radio and FL Digi to generate PSK and uh, Ready signals to help me fine tune the the algorithms and the circuitry used by the uh, transceiver. That uh, was very cum cumbersome, so I decided to build a Arduino based. Uh, um, signal generator which generates uh, RIDI and PSK and uh, made the whole process a lot easier. So this video is about my uh, Arduino based uh, signal generator. Now the, the signal generator it, it generates square waves uh, and because it uses the SI5351 so it's not meant to be a, um, a robust um, a signal or, or function generator. It's uh, more of a quick and dirty uh, piece of test equipment for my bench. So here's a functional component diagram for my uh, Arduino signal generator. At the heart is a Arduino Nano microcontroller that uh, controls the SI5351 via I squared C. The SI5351's uh, clock outputs, clock 0, 1, and 2, are directly connected to SMA connectors. Clock 2's output is also connected to a fixed attenuator pad that produces an RF signal of the order of about minus 73 uh, dBm. The Nano also communicates with a 16 by 2 LCD via I squared C uh, backpack. There is also a TTY uh, connection to an 8, 8 pin DIN port that allows me to send and receive serial information. There's also an expansion header that I'm going to be using uh, in the future and what the intention of that will be is to have an external uh, module that connects to the clock outputs and uh, here I'll have switchable uh, low pass filters, I will have variable uh, you know, digital uh, attenuators and uh, more things and uh, the idea here being that the low pass filters will allow me to produce a sine wave output and attenuators will allow me to produce other signals other than a minus 73 dBm. One important distinction I wanted to talk about, um, this is not a function generator that dis dis um, displays or creates various um, arbitrary waveforms. This is more of a RF signal generator or a pulse generator. It basically generates carriers and manipulates the carrier. So it generates frequencies and manipulates those, those frequencies. For example, it can generate a single frequency and it can modulate that frequency on and off to do CW or on off keying. It can do fre frequency shift keying um, like RIDI. Uh, where it shifts the frequency to encode uh, uh, information. In the future I'll be able to also do things like JT65 or Whisper which has multiple carriers and I can encode information across multiple carriers. So here's what the inside of my um, Arduino signal generator uh, looks like. Here's the main board. You can see at the heart of it is the SI5351 51. There's the SMA connector for clock 0, clock 1, clock 2, and here's the SMA connector here for the attenuated signal. And if you look at the bottom of the board, you can see in this corner here, you can see the attenuation pad pads right there. They're uh, using surface mount uh, resistors. Uh, you can see the Arduino Nano here that's controlling everything. Here's the connection to the rotary encoder. Here's my TTY connection to the DIN plug. Here's my push button connector here, power connector. And here's the I squared C uh, connection that's going to the backpack module here that's connected to the uh, uh, LCD. So here's a tour of the Arduino base SI5351 signal generator that I built. So um, it's got four SMA connectors and right now I've got a BNC adapter connected to one of the SMA connectors. So each of the SMA connectors is uh, here, the, these three 
are directly connected to the SI5351. This SME connector is connected to a uh, attenuation pad uh, that's connected to clock 2 and uh, brings the signal level down to approximately a minus 73 dBm which is perfect for me to, rec to directly connect to a radio receiver. So at the heart of this is our Arduino Nano which uh, uses the 16 by 2 LCD to display various uh, parameters. There's also a push button execute button and a rotary encoder here. So on, on the LCD there's a frequency display. There is the mode which the um, generator is in. It can be offline or online. When it's online it's actually generating a signal. This line here is showing what function it's going to be uh, delivering and this number here is giving me the uh, frequency increment. So when the unit is online the rotary encoder adjusts the frequency uh, by that amount as I rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. When it's in offline mode the rotary encoder changes the function that's displayed there. And uh, I can switch it between offline and online by either pushing the rotary encoder or or my execute button. So for example there it's online so it's generating uh, that frequency on clock 2 and if I was to use my rotary encoder I would be changing the frequency by by 10 Hertz. And then if I push the rotary encoder here now once it's online I can change the increment of the frequency. To go back from online to online I have to use my red button here. So here's the equipment I'll be using to test my uh, homebrew signal generator here. I'll be using the, the Ellicraft XG3 to generate a minus 73 dBm signal which I will then compare to the signal output of my homebrew signal generator. Both signals will be fed into a SDR unit and displayed within uh, a HD SDR on my PC. This uh, SDR was designed by the Peel Amateur Radio Club, the homebrew group, and I built it as part of a build-a-thon they, they had there. Uh, it includes the, the RTL dongle, uh, SDR dongle, and as well it has a up converter that converts the um, HF signals up into VHF frequencies. So this is HD SDR that's running on my PC, and right now it's connected to the Park Homebrew SDR and I'm just going to turn on the XG3 which is putting out a uh, minus 73 dBm signal, an S9 signal. So if you look at the the frequency there it's, it's about 7099, 909 Hertz and the signal level is approximately minus 75 dB which uh, is bringing it into about a S9. So it's well within the tolerance of what uh, it's considered an S9. So let's uh, see how it compares with my Arduino signal generator. So I've just turned on the um, signal generator there and here I'm getting the frequency 7099, uh, 808 Hertz and signal levels is around minus 70.6 dBm so it's a little bit stronger it's about 5 dB stronger than the XG3 and uh, it's showing up just a little bit over S9 but uh, still at that signal level that's pretty good for injecting a signal into a, a radio receiver so I think it's uh, it'll work out pretty good so here's what RIDI looks like. There you can clearly see the mark and space frequency and uh, you'll notice that it is above the carrier frequency so it's upper sideband and if I was to make this decode upper sideband you'll hear that uh, very familiar RIDI sound. And uh, similar for PSK. 
here it's generating a PSK signal and you can hear that very familiar PSK sound. So this is the final test of my Arduino signal generator. Right now I've got the RF port uh, con directly connected to my ICOM radio's antenna port and I'm going to have it generate uh, PSK and RIDI signals uh, which FL Digi is going to decode. So first here is uh, RIDI. So the RIDI message is uh, the alphabet followed by uh, numbers and special characters and it repeats three times. So you see it's 100% uh, it's uh, copy there. And for PSK Anyway, that concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope this was of interest to you.